Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you my completed leather bag, including a strap that I'm making in this one, and also a pendant that I wanted to make for my Airbender Air Nomad cosplay that I'm making for San Diego Comic Con. It's happening in two weeks, so I'm starting to feel the pressure a little bit. But overall, I think it's going pretty well, so check it out. I started with a set of D-rings and took my leather and twine that I'm using for my strap and looped them through the first of the D-rings. Then I did a simple three-piece braid all the way down the length of the rope. Here I'm confirming that the length that I have would work for the bag that I have. I wanted to make sure that it was long enough. To attach the strap to the other D-ring, I kind of had to finagle it a little bit. I ended up taking the hanging ends and intertwining them into part of the braid. I then unwrapped them and did what I would call like a tassel wrap. If you've ever made a tassel or you've watched a video on how to make a tassel, uh, you pretty much take one of the uh, phrase and wrap it around and then tuck it underneath and pull it tight. I ended up doing that with a piece of leather and I believe two pieces of the twine just to really reinforce it since I didn't really have any other way of going about doing that. Next, I had to punch holes so I could then use my speedy stitcher to actually attach the D-rings. This is something that if I would have thought this entire bag through before starting it, I could have done this before the pieces were all put together and it would have made it a lot easier. I didn't use a speedy stitcher exactly as you're supposed to, I just kind of used it to weave the, the string through so I could attach the D-ring. Here is the final result for the bag. It's actually a lot bigger than I expected. I am glad I put the foam pocket in, um, but it looks good. I used polymer clay and the Sculpey bead kit to create the pendant that I wanted to make for this cosplay. I pretty much just followed the instructions on how to go about creating something. So it has you knead the clay together to kind of get it more uh, pliable. I ended up using my lens cap as a rough guide because I had nothing else available. Um, so I just plopped it on there, used the razor that came with the kit to cut off all the access, and then I used my fingers with a combination of the straight edge to actually round those edges out to make it more of a circular shape. For the details on the pendant, I used a contrasting color that I realized after I bought it was actually sparkly, meant to be gold. I was going more for a wooden effect. I contemplated trying to carve wood and then decided this would just be a lot easier. I did the same thing where I rolled up the clay to make it more pliable. I also did some research on exactly the way that the details were going and then went from there. At this point, I decided to use a tool that the kit included to kind of sketch out where I wanted the individual designs to be so it would be less free-handed. This allowed me to know exactly what length they should be and where I was going to place them once I had created them. Then I used that same tool to poke a hole so I could attach it to a necklace.
Following the instructions, I set the oven temperature, let that preheat, and then baked it on this baking cushion included in the kit for like 10 minutes or something. And here we have a solid, pretty good looking pendant. The last thing I did was make a hemp necklace to attach the pendant to. I wasn't entirely sure how I wanted to go about making the bulk of the necklace for this and then decided I was lazy and I already had hemp laying around and I wanted to act like I was 14 again. So here we are. this bag is a lot bigger than I anticipated. I knew what I was doing when I was sketching out the dimensions, but now that I can actually wear it on my body, it's a big bag, which is cool. Um, it's not going to be able to hold a lot of weight, so we'll kind of see what happens. There's already a stitch coming out. I'm going to have to fix that later, um, but overall, it's I kind of like it. It's not something that I would probably wear outside of this outfit costume but it's kind of got like the feel I was going for like handmade and old school and leathery um, the next thing I have here is the pendant I might actually like soak this in water and get it kind of you know when you had a hemp necklace for like three months and you've worn it every single day and never taken it off even when you would go in the shower and then it was that really soft non scratchy hemp that's what I need this to get like in the next two weeks, so I might actually, after I film this, just go like soak it in some water. Um, there's a chance I might add some tassels too. If you see the reference photo in the video that I posted, there is like some orangey shreddish tassels that kind of hang off of next to here, and I have more yarn and thread than I have any use for, so I might add those just to make it a little more finished looking. Um, but the main thing I wanted was this pendant, and I got it, so I think overall I'm pretty happy. Um, next video I post will probably be me just showing off my entire cosplay. So, thanks for watching.